Hi there, it's Karen here with part two of my I Am project. And as you can see, I've already painted the chipboard, the first chipboard divider, using the um, Vicky Bootin uh, paint that I had in my last hip kit. It's uh, called Dakiri Ice or Dakiri Ice, and it's a pale minty colour, which I thought really worked well with with the photograph that I was using and I just like that as the background. So I, uh, I gessoed the card, the piece of card uh, or chipboard divider first and then I painted it just with one coat um, on each side. Uh, and now I'm backing my photograph of the Eiffel Tower uh, with some paper from the confetti 6x6 pad that I put aside to use for this, this project. Um, and I, re I really like that black and white design behind the picture of the Eiffel Tower and I've taken out a sticker from the sticker sheet um, for I, uh, saying I am there's loads of different versions of I am in the sticker sheet and in the chipboard um, and I'm just going to say I am in Paris so I've just taken a couple of little letters from the El Studio white sheet to say in sticking that on there and then I've created these little this banner of Paris using the colors of the of the flag of the French flag so um, spelling out the word Paris it's actually a little I just showed you there little um, little dies that I had so one for each letter um, and I've die cut two the first two letters in blue then one in white and then the last two in red just to so that, to reflect the color of the flag um, and now I'm just because the the letters are cut out of the of the little pennant shape I'm backing them the, the main two, the uh, the blue and the red ones with some white cardstock and the white one in the middle with some red so that it makes it stand out against the background otherwise it, the, the letters got a bit lost and I've just attached it to um, a piece of cord um, or I think it's a, an embroidery thread in a red um, and I've threaded it through the holes in the top of the little banners there and I'm just going to put a couple of red pearls either end to um, at a, a, to make it appear attached to the card, but it's all just stuck down. Um, and I'm just sticking those those on with a bit of bit of extra help with some glue. And, and then what am I doing? Oh, I hadn't actually. Then I realised I hadn't actually stuck my photograph down, even though I'd stuck the the banner to the photograph so I just had to take that out put a bit of bit of tape on it make sure it sticks to the uh, painted background and we are popping that in I'm sorry it's a little bit low on the page I think we'll find this quite a few times I've got my my camera got moved and I'm not quite showing as much of the um, of my work area as I thought I was so occasionally things may disappear off the bottom and I apologize for that and um, you can just about see it and I found um, in my stash I had this sheet of stickers all about Paris um, must have bought it when I actually came back from Paris I think I must have got it from somewhere so I've uh, fished it out and uh, I'm, I used practically the whole sheet over the course of the um, of the project I think I can use almost all of it up which I'm really pleased about because I've had this knocking around for quite a few years now so I'm just taking out a couple of hearts to stick it on and I've put the uh, the phrase bonjour down the side and there's another little sticker which uh, is just a little cartoony sticker with the uh, Eiffel Tower in the background and I'm using some happy planner letter stickers to put the the date that we were actually in Paris um, I'm going to pop it at the on the top of the photograph so we were in Paris, I suppose we had one full day there, one day travelling there and one day travelling back, so three days in all. And it was a wonderful trip, because I'd never been there before, even though it's so close, close and 50 years I'd never been to Paris, so it was high time I went. So there we are, that's the date on there. Now I'm turning over and working on the other side. And I actually bought quite a few postcards when I was over there because it, sometimes it's quite difficult. Um, oh, I popped back to, the, back to the front because I've found the sticker with saying La Tour Eiffel, so I thought I'd stick that on. So now I'm going to use this postcard. It's just a, an aerial view of, um, of Paris. 
and I rather liked it so I thought I'd pop it on on this page here so I've got a few more of the chipboard die cuts from the from the packet that I had and I'm using a couple of tickets they were from the that we used uh, from on the metro I've just kept a few tickets I'll pop I'm popping those in um, but before I start I'm going to put some do a bit of stamping so this is just a, a stamp which says uh, the best of times all the way around the clock this is from a Teresa Collins stamp set that I had and I've hardly ever used it and I just thought I'd pop that there and then this is just a little is this it's actually a fleur-de-lis stamp that I repeatedly um, put around as a border because fleur-de-lis is quite a, a French um, symbol so I thought that would just give a bit of edge nice nice edging and then um, so I'm now putting my postcard in the middle I also found um, I'd got some die cuts from another Simple Stories collection called So Fancy and in that collection there were a few um, a few die cuts that I thought I could use including um, one of the Eiffel Tower which is there's one of them and I'd had two packs of this so I've got another um, die cut of the Eiffel Tower which I never thought I'd get to use I've forgotten about about this trip so I was really pleased that I remembered to to find to have a look at this uh, that pack to see what I could use I think one or two other die cuts get used as well but the Eiffel Tower ones I was very pleased to find those because I thought that just gives it a little extra decorative element because they, they're gold foiled really attractive uh, die cuts to stick on there so that's it um, and now this is the first page of the introductory page with a bit of journaling for the um, the Paris section of the album so I'm going to do I'm going to use this photograph and I'm just again using the confetti 6x6 pad um, got some really handy the right um, pages in there that've got just the right colors that I wanted to use so I've cut that and then I'm going to back it uh, double back it with this lovely peachy colored background which goes very well with the um, color in the photograph of my top so I'm just trimming that down and this is going to be in my main journaling page just explaining where we why we went um, and again I'm just going to as I did on the front page I'm just going to put a little bit of uh, washi tape to provide a an edge against the I like I do like to edge things um, when they've got two two different patterns butted up against against each other just like to cover it with some some sort of decorative element so another sticker from that that sticker sheet about about Paris um, and now I'm just going to draw some lines I was going to use my little ruler and then I remembered I had a t-square which would give me a much straighter edge so I'm going to use that I'm going to draw some lines and and do some journaling about why we're in Paris and there we are oh, one more one more little bit to add and now I'm just sticking on my photograph under the journaling and I've got a couple of little little pieces to add I thought a suitcase was quite appropriate as we've just traveled there um, for this trip as you do you need a suitcase when you go anywhere and I've just got a couple of little tickety bits I'm going to tuck in I don't think that one is going to stay and I think the um, there's just a little label called notes from my travels that I'm going to stick on it's on that little pack there stick that on keeping it fairly simple it doesn't need to be over embellished it's just a little little bit of a decorative element just to give it a bit more interest but I didn't want to overdo it because it makes it a bit too makes the it would make the album too thick anyway so I'm popping that in there that's it and now on the other side I've actually got some photographs I took from my bedroom window one of which as you can see we could just about see the Eiffel Tower from our bedroom so I thought I'd just journal about about where we were in the city um, what we could see from our room because we looked straight out over the um, 
over the metro. There's a metro station right outside the hotel, which is really handy. And um, we could see, we could see right across there was um, the metro station or the the trains were right under came across right, right under our window because it was quite a raised up um, part of the track. So I thought it was quite interesting watching the trains coming in. And so I've just called this page Room with a View and I'm just going to do a little bit of journaling about, about, about the room and what we could see from the room. So I'm using some October afternoon mini market tile stickers for the, for the with a, and my favorite thickers again, the, the glittery teal ones for room and view because they go really well with the, uh, the backing paper, the spotty paper or the spotty border of the paper. So there I am just drawing, drawing some lines again that I'm going to do my journaling on, sort of building it around the photographs. So some of the first part is on the right side of the top photograph, then I'm going to do a bit more journaling on the other side next to the other photograph. And there's that, uh, the second of the Eiffel Tower die cuts. I was really pleased to find those because they just look gorgeous on the uh, on these pages. And uh, they didn't really have much to do with the rest of the collection, the So Fancy collection, as far as I could tell, but they just turned out really handy for this project. I'm just sticking on my letters now. Now that I've got everything else in place, the photographs are stuck down, journaling's in place. And I can just put on my my letters. And there's another die cut from the So Fancy collection, which went rather well. It's just a heart with gold foiling on. And I thought that just filled in that space beautifully. And I'm going to add another little glittery gold heart in my, that's for my pot. I've just cut them out with some punches from some gold foil paper or cardstock. And I've got a little pile of them there. So I thought that will just, just go really well. And that's the lot on that page. Oh no, there's one more little element that I wanted to add. I wanted to add a little bit of washi tape. I love this washi tape. I've not really used it very much, but it's so, so sweet. It's got the, like birds on a wire. And I thought actually that kind of works quite well with this uh, view from the window and look at sort of a slightly higher up view. Um, and I thought you could easily imagine there being birds up there somewhere sitting on some wires. So I thought I'd pop a few bits of that on because I really think it just adds a little something extra to the page. So thank you for joining me for part two of my project and uh, I hope you join me again for the, um, for the next part. Goodbye! <laughs>